Recently got an email from an AP Calculus teacher in Peru, New York. So I came across my website through the AP Calculus discussion group. Uh, here is a link to that website. And uh, could you answer this question about the TI Inspire when you get a chance? Learn the shortcut to finding the area under the curve using the left parentheses. Type in the lower and upper bounds as coordinate. Uh, however, with the new update this year, the left parentheses will come up, but I can't get the upper bound. And the kids figured something nice out. And uh, could, you, could you give us some pointers when you have the time? Thanks. So let's take a look at uh, a graph. So here's a graph, and if we go to Menu, Analyze the Integral, and we do the parentheses and say, how about mm, negative 2, and you press Enter. And then you see what he's talking about. It's the lower bound again. And you're like, I just gave a lower bound. If you give a lower bound um, as being parentheses negative 4, then hmm, there it is. So it's almost as if you can give the, the upper bound first and the lower bound. Um, and here's why. Here's what's going on. Um, again, I'll do... Notice where my cursor is. If my cursor is over here on the right side of the screen, then, all right, seriously, leave the cursor over there. And I uh, press Menu and Analyze the graph. And we do the, the integral from, say, from, from, from 2. Oh, there it is down there where my cursor is. It's appearing down, down here, and I can't really see it, which is a bit odd. Um, I'll press Escape. And, Let's see if I can leave my cursor right over here. Oh wait, here we go. So we'll just do 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 do. Use a little touchpad to uh, track on over. There you go. Menu, analyze, integral. And you say the the left bound. How about a negative two? Enter. And then the right bound. How about we'll say is is uh, see now this time it says upper bound do you see that because the cursor is over there on the right side of it and so that's what's going on and would it be nice if it always defaulted to um, left bound and then upper bound mm, well, perhaps now there is a nice thing about being able to, to move um, this around so notice right here the integral gives me as a 24 for this integral, I can change the color, right click, control menu if you're using the handheld, and I could fiddle that and change change the color of that one. Um, kind of nice if the 24 was appearing as a different color, um, but can't do that. Uh, you can move this around, and if the if the left is, is um, left bound is greater than the right bound, then you get a negative uh, integral, negative definite integral. Now you can move these into in discrete amounts if you were to redefine them. And again, I use the control menu or the right click, and I'm choosing redefine. And I'm redefine it as one of these little axis tick marks. And so tick, mark, and clickety click, isn't that nice? And it moves in, in discrete amounts. And notice how, um, since I reversed the, the axis, then now I'm getting um, this, this negative value. Let's go ahead and redefine it again. And there. Ooh, isn't that lovely? Okay, there's a, um, a couple of tips of what's going on and how that works. Stopping the recording and getting this posted.